Hi, this is Fred Litt and welcome to Workflow in Style. In this video, I will discuss how you can use Dropbox to share oversized files and folders. Most free email services such as Gmail, Yahoo, and Hotmail will only allow attachments of up to 25 megabytes. This sounds like a lot, but in today's megapixel world, this limit quickly becomes a problem. A simple 30-second iPhone video can exceed 50 megabytes and the thought of attaching more than a few high-resolution photos is out of the question. In addition, folders cannot be attached without first using a process called zipping, which is a nightmare for both the email sender and recipient. Well, Dropbox to the rescue. With your files and folders already placed within your Dropbox folder, I will demonstrate how you can use a simple Dropbox feature called Share Dropbox Link to share files and folders of almost any size. Let's get started. So let's begin by demonstrating some of the attachment limitations of Gmail. Off to the left of my screen you'll see a file and a folder. The file, which is a video lasting about 37 seconds, is about 75 megabytes. So let's click on it, open it up, and there is my wife playing with some of the family and visiting dogs. So let's close that. I also have a folder, Project Documents. Inside this folder, as you can see, I have four different documents. And let's assume I want to use Gmail to share these documents with a colleague. So let's open up Gmail. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer, which, can, which is going to go straight to my Gmail account. I'm going to bring it off to the right. And now I'm going to compose a new email. So now I'm going to address the email to myself. And as a subject, I'll put in project documents. And now I'm ready to add my attachments. So the first thing is I'm going to start with the video, again, which is 37 seconds and 75 megabytes. And using Gmail, I can simply drag the attachment into the email and let go. Oops, look at that. Unable to upload the file because it's too large. As you can see, Gmail only permits an attachment of 25 megabytes and mine is 75. So that's not going to work. Now let's try and attach the folder, my project documents folder. So I'm going to drag that into Gmail and nothing happens. So that doesn't work either. So as you can see, Gmail is not allowing me to attach a file over 25 megabytes or attach a folder. So what can we do? Well, Dropbox to the rescue. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to go down to the bottom right. I'm going to open up my Dropbox folder. Click on the little folder icon and this exposes my Dropbox folder. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my file and my folder that I want to attach and I'm going to drag them into my Dropbox folder. And you see the little blue circle. That means it's in the process of uploading to my Dropbox account. And that'll take a couple of moments. And now I'm just going to move this off to the left so that we can see both my Dropbox folder as well as Gmail. And now I'm going to place the mouse tip over the file that I want to share. And I'm going to right click one time. This reveals the floating menu. I'm going to left click on Share Dropbox Link. And then you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner there's a little message that comes up that tells me that a um, link has been created that will allow me to share this file. So how do we actually use this? Well now let's move the mouse tip into the email, click on it to focus on it, and right click inside the email and click paste. And this will paste the link that will eventually allow me to access or I should say allow the recipient to access that file. So now I'm going to go back into um, my Dropbox folder because I also wanted to share that folder that I created. And you remember the folder was called Project Documents. I'm going to right click one time. I'm going to place the mouse tip over Share Dropbox Link again. And the message comes up that I'm able to share the folder. I'm going to go back into the email that I created. And I'm going to hit Enter a couple of times. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go Paste. And a second link has now been uh, put into the email and now I'm ready to go. So let's watch what happens. Again, I'm sending this email to myself so I'm going to click send. Okay, so now let's assume that I am the recipient of the email and I want access to the attachment. So I'm going to click on Google Chrome. This opens up my Gmail account. There's the email. I'm going to click on the link and there are the two links, the first to the video and the second to the folder. So I'm going to click on the first link 
which should give me access to the movie. And of course, it asks me to sign up for Dropbox. No thank you for right now. And you'll notice there's a play button, which allows me to play the movie. Now, it's a little fuzzy because it's streaming the video live, which is pretty cool. I'm going to click on this to stop it. And now, if you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, there's a download button. And this button, if I click it, will allow me to download the file. I can save it and then play it. But the benefit is that it's going to be in full resolution. So I'm going to get the best quality possible. So let's go back to the original email. And now let's take a look at the folder that I included, or I should say a link to the folder. So I'm going to click on the link, give it a sec couple of seconds. And there I have a listing of all of the documents that, that are contained in my Dropbox folder. And so if I click on, let's see, this is the combined PDF file. I'm going to click on that. And this should give me in a second or two um, instant access to the components of that uh, PDF file. How cool is that? And again, in the upper right-hand corner, if I click on download, I can download the file. So as we've demonstrated in this example, um, we can use Dropbox to allow you to share oversized files and folders, which a typical Gmail account won't allow you to do. Enjoy. Hi, this is Fred Lid. Thanks for watching this workflow and style video. To learn more easy to use techniques to save time, make better presentations, and enhance your bottom line, visit my website at familytechnology.com. Take care.